Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a little jigsaw versus video. Now, I cannot believe I have not even made a jigsaw video since the beginning of this channel. So this will be the first episode of actually having just a jigsaw in the video. So today what we are gonna do is we're gonna do a little versus video between, uh, between the brand new brushless Ryobi jigsaw versus the old school a Ryobi jigsaw and we're gonna see what the difference between the performance is from back then to now. We are gonna use two uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries and two 3 amp hour compact HP batteries and I just picked up brand new Bosch blades. Uh, these are T-Shank fits, uh, fits all T308B. Now this is a wood blade. Most of them are universal and so just the blade determines on what you're cutting. You know how fine it is and how sharp the uh, how many teeth it has on it. That's the main difference is what the blade you need for a certain situation. In this situation we just need generic blade so I got this uh, five pack for ten bucks. Model number for this is P524. It goes to 800 to 3400 strokes per minute. A speed setting dial switch that goes up and down. Now you could, uh, so there is no one, two, three, or four. It's it's just, it's a speed setting that you just glide. And this does have an or orbital feature. There is zero to, uh, it goes from zero to three. Orbital is good, but your uh, it'll cut through tougher stuff, but your cut won't be as clean as and as straight as it would if it's just going up and down. But the orbital feature is there for tough stuff, so we're not, we might not be able to uh, need that today because we're cutting just uh, a 4x4 and a 2x4. And so yes, we will uh, test it out though, see what it can do. So this actually does have a feature to where you could hook up a vacuum to it. I do not have the adapter. I do not know if I threw it away or if I never, if you have to order that separately. But you can hook a vacuum up to this and it will suck out the sawdust as, as you're cutting. Alright, so you could pivot this. You could pivot this. I believe it's 45 degrees. And so we're going to test out that feature to see if it slows down the blade as it's cutting. And so, yes. All right, so there are latches right here where you uh, unlock it and then you push this. It uh, slides a little bit forward and backward where you could uh, adjust it, then push it forward to lock it in place. So it'll it'll there are sl uh, slots right there that will help you keep this... 100% uh, straight so you, you won't have to guess on where it's at you just put it right there and now then you lock it now it's back to being straight the one thing that sucks about jigsaws is if you accidentally raise this and the blade comes out from your cut and this slams into the wood you could majorly bend the blade and the blades pretty much useless like right now my blade is bent I'm not if you could see it's it goes to the right a little bit goes this way but yeah so I accidentally raised it a bit too much and this slammed into the the wood and it bent the blade oh see all right so that's off so you have to like I said it has a sliding speed so we're gonna test this out along with the other ones so let's look at the other the other uh, jigsaw specs. Right, so, so this is model P520. Uh, this, this stroke, I believe, this is the stroke length, and that's one at nine, one and nine sixteenths. And uh, the blue version goes to zero, to, zero to twenty one hundred uh, strokes per minute, and that is approximately fourteen hundred strokes less. Than what the green one can do, which that is absolutely insane. So let's pop a battery in. Let's go to three. Yep, there, there's only a variable trigger, and I guess this is orbital, which I, I don't see much of an orbit. For this one, to make this... Uh, pivot you actually need to loosen up some allen bolts and then make your little adjustment and tighten them back up which that's actually a little may that's majorly inconvenient 
Yeah, that's majorly inconvenient. And on this one, though, there is... On this one, there is a storage for your blades. So that's actually a nice feature to have. There is no unlock feature to this. The, the power to turn this off is you pretty much do that and then it doesn't work. But on this one, there I'm gonna put it to the low set uh, for low speed. You could lock this one in place so you don't have to pull the trigger. Then you just pull the trigger and it stops. All right, so uh, the brushless one has an LED on the top right there, and the blue version does not have an LED. Switch out the blade on the brushless. It is very, very easy. Just twist this, pops right out. You put the new blade in. There we go. And I heard rumors that this pops out actually. Alrighty, so let's put these to the test and see what happens. Oh, that's actually, that will actually work. Fantastic. It's just tight. And like I said, to to change the angle, that's it. And then it is done. Just like that, done. Let's do, let's do a couple, just a couple of inches of this. Let's see if I can keep a straight line. Let's see how easy it is for that to control. Cut it right there. Just until right there. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. That's already. Was actually extremely easy to control that is that ladies and gentlemen is a straight line fantastic it did a good job all right so we are ready to go all right so all right so ready go Good. Now, see, when it comes to cutting a, against the grain, it does it much better. Let's do another one. Ready? Alright, so, let's do two with the brushless version. All right, so ready, go. Wow, what a difference. And that light helps too. All right, let's go to orbital three. Let's see what this does on orbital three like this. All right, so ready. What a difference in the cut. This is the cut for, or and this is the other half of the orbital one. This is the one half of the orbital three. Look at the difference in, in the cut quality. It cut faster, but you lose the quality of the cut. That is wood shrapnel everywhere all over that. And this one is nice and clean. Nice and clean. So yeah, that's the difference of having going fast and going the correct speed. All right, so let's do a zero orbital. Let's see how slow it is. We're going to time this like everything else. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> and 
and there we go. Yeah, see right here is the difference between orbit and clean cut. Right there is the difference. That is a, that's actually nice to be able to have like a physical where you can show physically the difference. It's it's awesome. But that is one clean cut. We are going to see what the difference is when we use the Orbital 3 on this. And let's see how clean the cut is. All right, so ready? That is very slow. All right, I think this is it. Now this one's actually not bad. This one's actually not a bad one. That, but it's much slower. <coughs> it's a much slower uh, jigsaw, so that is beginning of it sucked big time, you know. But uh, but yeah, it, it didn't do too bad. It didn't do too bad at all. That's the finish line. All right, so that's so I'm gonna try my best to follow the line. We are not going to uh, use orbital feature just yet. Uh, if this seems to struggle, we will. But let's see what this can do. All right, so uh, off. There is no speed setting. I don't believe brand new blade. All right, so ready. Go. That was painful. Wow, that was painful. All right, the motor is nothing's wrong with the motor whatsoever. What's the battery life from that? At the battery life has drained and nothing. Battery couldn't keep up with that. All right, we're going to use a three amp hour compact HP battery. We are going to see what the difference is. All right, so ready. Go. Uh, normally I don't do this, but that is seriously, seriously slow. We are just going to see what the other, uh, the brushless version can do. Alright, we're going to start off with the 1.5 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Alright, we are good to go. Ready? Go. <laughs> And there it is. 
There it is. Like like I said before, you can tell when you use the orbital feature, it goes faster and it's more powerful, but you lose the quality of the cut. The quality of the cut just goes out the window, but it cuts it at a faster pace. Unfortunately, this did fall on the ground. Ready? Go. So for a two by four, Orbital One is actually a good setting. It doesn't vibrate it too much. It cleats, it still has a clean cut and it doesn't make your cut drag without losing the quality of the cut. So Orbital One's actually a good feature for this. All right, so this one sucks a major, major butt. This one barely did anything. Uh, it's old school, it's blue, it's weak. You know, this wasn't really able to accomplish the task fast at hand compared to the new technology. We are going to do versus videos between this and other brands. Uh, we're going to see what they do in the tasks that I did uh, today and more. We're going to test metal, wood, you know, and we're going to test plastic, you know, to see what, uh, which one prevails in certain tasks while doing good accurate cuts. Now this one is, this one's awesome. It feels good in the hand. It's hefty, it's powerful, you know, and it just, uh, it gives you the nice feature to go fast with low quality cut or slow with a good quality cut. And we're gonna see in the future on how this performs doing a different tasks and more uh, detailed tasks. All right, so as you can see, one is with no orbit and the other one is with uh, orbit. Uh, sorry, this one has a, uh, yeah, this one has no orbit. This one has orbit on uh, speed, th uh, orbit on setting three. Now, as you can see, there's a big difference in the finish. Now, this one you could sand down, but if you just use the or the no orbital feature, you get that finish right off the bat, and this is the finish that you want all the time. So this has been the versus, versus video between these two. They uh, This one did a terrible job, but that's all right. It's old. That's why the <coughs> that's why this one comes out. Now they do, they do uh, right? We did make one more lower version of this, which that one's brushed. We're going to get that, and we're going to do a versus video, video between this and that to see what the difference is between brushed and brushless when it comes to the new school uh, jigsaws. So that is pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of my future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.